Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's Garrison here, and welcome back to the channel. So today on this lovely afternoon, no, I'm not going to announce another name change for this channel, like my 3K sub uh, video, but I'll be doing another Q&A video today. But before we get into that, I just want to say right away, thank you so much, everyone, for supporting me and the, the entire channel. I still cannot believe that we've hit 6K and that we're still growing together as a community, as one lovely family. And what I really love about our community so far is that we're small, but we are close together throughout the comment section um sometimes outside the comment sections through uh, my emails and some uh, messages that have been getting sent um with um my subscribers i feel like we should come up with i don't i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's a fandom name but like a name that i can call you all by comment in the comment section down below if you have uh couple of ideas i'll have to do that on my own time but it's been a, a wild ride uh with you all i'd have to say it's been uh rough um for me personally um doing um videos on this channel um and managing that with my time in real life and stuff that has happened to me in um real life but here we are. 6K plus subs. Love you all so much. Let's just dive into this Q&A right now. So I pulled it up on my phone here. The first question that was sent in is, which group are you waiting for to come back next year? So... I need to say this right away. Um, this video is filmed um, right after I checked out Luna's teaser for New Moon. So, Luna, I am super excited to see Hassel back in the group OT12. Um, I would love to get Dreamcatcher with Handong. Get the whole, whole group together. Um, I would love from us nine because it took forever for from us nine to come back i want an early like q1 q2 next year by from us nine for sure um black pink black pink comeback or black pink's rose solo debut i need that to happen i need yg to stop stalling <laughs> um secret number for sure i love secret number in case y'all didn't know there's a ton of secret number videos on my channel um and just uh, just basically all my favorite groups i follow a ton of groups in case y'all couldn't have tell um by amount of variety in terms of reactions that i i'm trying to uh, do towards my favorite uh groups and it continues to grow and grow and grow and constantly uh grow um i would also would like to see an exo comeback that's gonna be a while from now but we're probably gonna get a unit after seeing that kai um solo debut with mm at the end there um ooh exo with lay that'd be nice that would be amazing um yeah and more soloists i would love to see dean i want dean to come back so badly i want wiki mickey to get a proper um comeback in terms of funding um of course cool was their latest uh, comeback and they got a lot of comebacks but i think cool was one of the most proper ones and properly funded and the best title track for me to date personally or it's tied with picky picky um i can't wait to see what sf9 has in store the list goes on the list honestly goes on um epic high 
uh, comeback, um, Red Velvet, what their early, what early Q1, so like January comeback, I, I heard, or something like that. A lot of comebacks that I um, want to see happen. Next question is, since when did you start liking um, K-pop? So um, this is a similar one that I've gotten on my 3K video, but I started back in 2012 when I was introduced to Big Bang, uh, VIX, um, Girls' Generation, Infinite. And then fast forward to 2013, 2014, that's when I actually went all in on k-pop because i started like it oh I'm, I'm liking it you know um in 2012 but 2013 2014 you would see me okay i'm not even joking back in like junior high high school i believe doing i was doing like exos over overdose that 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 dance and i was so into overdose like i was a huge xol and um, I still love EXO still to this day, um, even though I haven't done a lot of um, videos to EXO, unfortunately, due to um, time. But that's when I started, um, 2012, but when I actually got into it, 2013, 2014. Um, next question is, time goes by, uh, sooner or later, our favorite uh, group, currents, uh, uh, slash old, uh, older generation will... Uh, continue to grow old as we are uh, growing old in life, there will be a new generation of girl uh, groups, boy groups will be up in the future. What are your um, thoughts? So let me try to think about this for a second. Well, my um, main thoughts when it comes to following or just listening to a group or a certain artist or soloist versus being a fan is is completely fine you don't have to be a fan to enjoy music right music i've said this before music is there to console us um also something to add on to that there is no age limit in terms of talent so um let me just put out a couple of names out there Wan young extremely talented and she's really young uh, anya jin you know from as one um we're looking at stacy as of recently oh extremely talented and weekly a lot of you know younger talents are coming out and you you don't uh, as i'm growing older and i'm coming from following um k-pop uh, late uh, second gen groups i'm just here to enjoy the music regardless of age because age there uh, regardless of age there is no limitation when it comes to age and the connection of um being talented and right uh, I remember going back on that uh, Jamie um, A Pink's NG interview. It's just ridiculous how some people see like age is a limiting factor. Like if you're too old, you can't have you know a comeback. You can't put out music, right? There shouldn't be a limit if you're too young or too old. Um, but on that side. Um, for an artist that's what i see but for us ourselves i'm gonna continue loving k-pop the way it is i'm gonna cherish the groups um that i have uh, been with uh, together um whether it's listening to their music watching their content i'm gonna cherish those days and reminisce about those days as i still do with infinite um early days of icon the the early days of xo and all I, I i i'm just gonna just go with the flow and as new generations come out and i grow older and older i don't think i'll be completely set on being like a full-pledged fan 
but just as a, a person who admires their music, right? Um, just back to my main point, you don't need to be a, a fan of a respective artist to enjoy their music. So that's, that's my thoughts. Um, the next one is what is your top five favorite, um, groups? Okay. So groups specifically speaking, um, from us nine is my number one, um, ultimate, um, girl group. Um, and that's due to them uh, seeing them live back at KCON and, uh, G1 being my alt and we made eye contact hearts and all that. <laughs> Promise 9 means so much to me, and um, it really hurt my heart uh, this year, um, waiting for so long for them, and Promise 9 just being YouTubers. Like, their content is phenomenal. If you guys haven't checked out their YouTube channel, always has English subs on the dot uploaded, and back in the early days of from is nine on youtube they would have hard subs too i'm i'm saying english subtitles on the screen not uh, subtitles that you have to enable from is nine if y'all hadn't uh, dove into their discography be sure to do so 22 century uh girl they have a lot of good b-sides miracle um their latest uh, mini love the title track feel good second um, top, um, uh, the other, um, ones I wouldn't say in any order would be Luna, Dreamcatcher, one, two, three, oh my girl. As for a fifth one, that really ships quite often, um, because Blackpink, when they had comebacks they would like go up crazy like number two number three or just in the top five right but now i would say the fifth uh would be blackpink um do their full album comeback and all um and i'm pretty sure they'll have a lot more in store and you know their collabs um for boy groups infinite's always gonna be number one Icon, XO, um, Stray Kids, and 80s, I'd have to say. Those are my um, top five for, I would say, boy groups and girl groups. But if you had to tell me to do groups in general, that'd be really difficult. Or top five in general, including solo artists. So thank you for that. The next one is... Can you choose five of your album um, collection that has a good design? So five albums that have a good uh, design from my collection. So I brought them out here ahead of time. First one will be Luna One Thirds Love and Live album limited edition. I just really love the color on this one. I um, sealed it as you can tell. I need to do a better uh, job of doing that. Um, but this album means so much to me because my favorite um, Luna unit is Luna One Third because I love ballads so, so much. And I loved all the songs that Luna One Third put out. As you can tell, we have here, we have Yenjin, Vivi, Heejin, and Hassel such a fantastic unit um, i feel like i'm the odd person that uh ha, ha, has luna one third as the top uh unit uh coming from uh luna but just in general like luna's albums as you can tell here a bit they sit like flush on a shelf and i love the design of luna's albums and this one's my one of my favorite ones um, the next one being Blue Mice from Eyes One. Um, this, I love the designing on this one as it comes out of the sleeve. And um, be sure to watch a video on it if you haven't seen 
the insides and inclusions of the as one's uh blue minds album i think they did a phenomenal job on this one i like albums being thick and not too tall like magazine size um leading to my next one is blackpink's the album Ooh, look at that that is so so clean one of my best buys i'd say of 2020 dream catcher Ooh, look at this dream catcher's fifth mini album of dystopia lose myself this this design Dreamcatcher's albums only continue to be better and better, and I love it when albums have this uh, fl magnetic, uh, like, flippy thing uh, to open and close. And then the one album that you usually see on my shelf up there is Zico's Random Box. This is like a shoebox a style of opening, and um, I, had, I just had to get it. I loved... Um, his comeback this year is summer-ish uh, comeback, of course, and I love the man. I respect his work, and I had to, I had to, I had to get it. So those are my um, top five album designs from my collection. And let me know if you want to uh, see. Like, I don't think I can do a room tour, but tour, but I think by the time I do that, I'll be in a different uh, room, to be honest. But at some point, I'll put out a video a collection video or a photo card collection video. Um, so stay tuned. Best three K-pop moments of 2020. So this is way too hard for me personally because a lot of great moments for k-pop happened this year a lot of comebacks as you may all know collaborations but what um i would say three uh, best three things in general okay so one the interactions that we've gotten uh, between artists uh throughout uh groups friendships being made it's just so lovely seeing those happen the way they do comebacks and yeah, I'd say comebacks and um, collaborations, um, and the the turnouts in, for solo artists putting out a ton of musics, uh, music, not just having one comeback, but having multiple um, comebacks. Next question is being asked here. What's the reason uh, or reasons why you stand secret numbers? So let me say this right now. I've said a ton of reasons throughout all my secret secret number um, videos. And I think it all stems, those reasons stems from secret number being genuine, being true to themselves um, on and off the stage. Um, if you have seen their content, they are just so true to themselves and i really appreciate them for doing that um not many groups um uh can do that uh, as the some labels a lot of labels restrict their artists from being themselves or um or labels have taught their own artists to you know do certain uh, things that i won't really uh, want to talk about i could go on a rant about it for um hours but yeah just them being themselves um and that w was really shown really uh, well throughout their content and denise's interview or or, or something uh with eric nam on the k-pop daybox show if you haven't seen that be sure to do so the next question is which um, what is the most memorable and unforgettable moment for you in 2020? So I have a lot, so I'm just going to list them out right now. Uh, one is, um, purple Beck seeing, um, my video, uh, on their first anniversary, uh, others, uh, being, um, being able to do, um, and um sign calls with secret number multiple times um seeing songwriters and such and producers in the comment section down below like what 
uh, being recognized you know i am just so honored and blessed to uh see them throughout the comment sections in my first listens and i appreciate them for that uh so much so the next one is christmas tmi and then if you can make and uh, choose members for a girl group and boy group who would you pick um it doesn't have to be just a group. You can choose from Polaris. This sounds like a draft pick um, type of thing. So first of all, Christmas TMI. Nothing too crazy, to be honest. Um, TMI, I ate too much um, turkey. Um, but uh, if I can choose for girl group and boy group. Okay, so girl group, right away, um, what comes to my mind Oh, I don't know why this is sticking to me. Like, I don't know why I'm thinking about IOI right now. Because I would either have Yeonjung or of uh, Wuja Sonia, Cosmic Girls, um, or Sejong of Gugudan. And I would pick, I would pick one of those two as like a main vocal. Wow, such powerhouses! I'd have to say. Or why not? Why not? Um, both. And then I think I would like for boy group and girl group, I'd just keep it at five members. Keep it at five because uh, I could name a lot. And um, I think synergy has to come into a uh, place and how to how they would um, connect. Um, yeah, I think I would have a vocal like only vocals um girl group um or i would set up like a masculine girl group like the arc that happened oh i missed the arc so much the the arc was a group that was defying all the odds and i wish they went uh further but yeah, I would make like a vocal powerhouse girl group. Like I would come out with Sejong. I would come out with Yunjong. I would come out with Wendy of uh, Red Velvet. I'd come out. I'd, I'd, I'd bring in uh, Jiwon's uh, From His um, of From His Nine. I would bring in. I'd bring in Shein of Dreamcatcher. Those five, but if I had the time to really sort it out, I would look through entire list of all groups and actually take the time to do so. Um, boy group, ooh, I would like to do a full hip hop um, boy group. I would put in Bobby. I would put in Changbin and Han. Um, still, um, I would put in. Wow, there's actually a lot of phenomenal. Um, idol uh boy uh idol rappers i'd have to say <laughs> what else i would put i would put in zico i put in minnow there's a, just just a lot of um idols to choose from if i had to uh choose next one uh next question is being what would you choose uh, to be your favorite comeback in 2020 Full package album choreo title track mv etc this year has had some of the greatest releases of all time in my opinion so i still don't know but if i'd have to choose 12 o'clock or you know midnight from luna would love to know if you'd have one comeback to rule them all or not and congrats on 6k and First of all, thank you again. And second of all, what a difficult um, question to answer. I'm actually um, making a top 10, um, my personal top 10 list for uh, girl group comebacks, boy group comebacks, uh, top 10 list for underrated um, releases of 2020. And as well as soloists um, except for albums so in terms of album i'd have to give it to 
Blackpink. Blackpink's album I listen to on repeat, on loop a lot. I, I have um, when it, ever since it dropped, and the collab songs grew on to me um, more. Cardi B was super unexpected, um, but it, it somehow worked. I feel like Blackpink's album, the album, is my uh, number one pick. But if we were to look back on this year, that or As One's Bloom Eyes. I'd have to say As One's Bloom Eyes now, okay? 110%. As One's Bloom Eyes album is my number one album of this year personally full album in terms of full album okay um full album gotta give it to as one uh bloom bloom eyes and i still can't believe to this day i always talk about that album with friends and ask was it released this year of 2020 and we always search it and yeah it was it was released back in what february february right amazing album you haven't listened to it be sure to do so i'm i i, I love all the album um albums that as one puts out but their full album of bloom eyes without a question their best album to date um and dreamlike would have to be my favorite b-side on that album eyes is good open your eyes is good as well what a great album in terms of minis, such a difficult decision, but um, one huge contender would obviously have to be Midnight uh, from Luna. Next question is, what's your jam song for the past few weeks? So my jam songs for the past few weeks is um, Show Me The Money 9 VVS. What a bop. It received an all kill on charts. It continues to trend at number one here and there. I mean, it really saved 2020 for me. Um, before I got into final exams, and that that song helped me power through final exams. Um, I highly recommend you all uh, watch the performance of it on YouTube. The lyrics are so meaning you know we have a lot of doubters when everything's against you but you know i'm shining you know like like a vvs vvs oh so good um in terms of other songs i've been listening to i've been listening to as of recently panorama a lot by as one um luna's why not uh universe actually a lot and as well as Blackpink's album, um, not entirety, not the entirety of it as of recently, as the months has passed, but majority of the B sides, um, some lo-fi chill hop. As I've been um, grinding out a ton of edits as of recently, and I'm, I want to finish my edits so I could upload them accordingly, so that we you all can have a video like every second day or every uh, day come early january of uh 2021 yeah next question what would you like to work in real life as your main career so in terms of a job i i, I would say right away dream job i used to have the dream job of um having my own music label um specifically in korea as i'm taking business right now and i think i want to do maybe like multimedia or something like that like con something that deals with content creation and editing and something with music but um the part of that huge dream is trying to solve uh, mental health um mental awareness is huge it need mental health needs to be talk talked about 
more often, to be honest. And it's such a difficult and challenging topic to talk about, as not many of us want to do so. And there is not much research put into、uh, mental health. And you know, we have devices to fix our broken arms. We have. You know, medicine to cure us, but at the end of the day, mental health is a huge issue, and I sort of want to sort of intertwine that somehow with music,、um, with um, my um, skills in editing, and、uh, such that I've learned in business so far. So that's the, the that's a, a huge dream. Hopefully, I can get there、um, in terms of. A、uh, regular, you know, nine to five job. Right now, I'm I'm not thinking too far ahead. As I learned that, I need to live more in the present, not too far in the future, not even like two hours ahead, or live in the past and dwell in the past a lot. As I work well and be more productive, as I take one day at a time. So, great question、uh, there. Final question here is. Which video that made you that the, which video that you made has made the strongest impression on you? Is there a story behind it? Wow. Which video? I'm gonna name a couple of ones、um, right now. I'd have to say. I'd have to say, my video to. Secret numbers, dance practice covers. I was blown away、um, seeing what all the members did、um, throughout those、uh, two covers, and ever since then, that motivated me to put out all the videos that you see on my channel today. First listens, reactions, my new、um, series. Uh, lyrics review where I do lyric breakdowns, which I can't wait to do more often next year. I mean, I want to break down、uh, songs such as Zico's "Human," Sejong's "Flower Way," some Epic High songs. Like ah,、uh, that that's that song.、Um, that not song, <laughs> sorry, but that video that I did. Just made a huge domino effect. Where here I am today, still doing videos.、Um, other ones、uh, being my top ten list of last year, 2019. I'm not sure if that's still available、uh, due to copyright、uh, claims,、um, but that was like a one-hour video that I took a hell of a lot of time. And even though I didn't get much views on it. Um, it was all about the meaning behind the edits and the voiceovers that I made, and the explanations why this ranked X X X, you know, ranked number three on comebacks, ranked this this this, and why what meant a lot to me,、uh, coming from the artist or the song that was、um, coming from the artist, right, and. Zico's "Human," oh, what a song! Still one of my top songs, still to this date. Such a meaningful song. Um, and I had a lot of top favorites. I even include B sides, and I learned that I wanted to divide that up and show you all my top tens coming in uh, early uh, January of 2021. What are my top tens from 2020? It was really hard. It took me hours to sort out that list on a spreadsheet, on an Excel spreadsheet. But that's the other one, and then the other one being、um, my first ever fan call with Secret Number. Is、uh, I couldn't believe my eyes. I it was su such a surreal、um, video to do, and before the fact that I. Did a video call with Secret Number. I've never done something like that—a fan type thing, engagement with a certain artist. Yeah, those are the couple ones that made the strongest impression、um, on me today. Wow. So that concludes the Q and A. 
let's just r- cameraman whatever uh, editor garrison roll the film of 2020 and yeah Let's go, Han. Man. He just went in like that. Just the overall breakdown in her rap right now. Ooh. Ooh. That slight fa- falsetto there. Woo. Wow. It has sort of that 80s but jazz feel to it with the piano too and the brass sounds. We're having insane luck right now. I own two tickets now. These are limited. These are limited. What a great day. What a great day to be alive. Did you know I keep up with all your videos? Is that just dance on the TV? Love in the hi hats. The percussion instruments added in this part. This is worth a buy. This is. This was 110% worth the buy, guys. This is so good! So fun. <laughs> Love the ad libs. Oh! <laughs> Wait! No way. No way. And, and on the recommendations, of course, Luna Hostels let me in right here. Hold, hold up. Song mean ho something means uh, run away. Okay, okay, let's go. One, <laughs> two, three. Do man ga 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 ga